Jewel's project, because we mentioned the FCH, and um, unfortunately, the people from Gas Uni cannot be there, so they, they cannot handle this presentation on the Jewel's project. Just have a very few slides on it, because we see that at a very, as a very, very important project for the, the hydrogen today. We are member of the Jewel's consortium. You can see on that slide the different members of the consortium, Nurion Neuron and, and Gas Uni, as well as BioMCN, and, and Denora and Initio being the partners of the project. And you have a, this is not the real installation, this is a marketing picture for the, for the plant. I cannot bring you much more information on the technical side because we have an NDA with our partners, so there is a few information we can uh, actually disclose on the technical side of it. But this is part of the game actually. We will deliver, we will engineer and deliver the complete 20 megawatt unit which is dedicated to the renewable methanol. We had this morning a presentation where we could see the pipe, the hydrogen pipe, and the connection between the electrolyzer and the methanol synthesis loop on the site. And this is a site that you see has background on the picture. And this is for us very important, and not only for us, because we see that this will be the first 20 megawatts you need for real industrial application and renewable methanol in Europe. This is really a stepping stone to be able to prove the first step of the scaling up of the electrolyzer business in Europe for heavy industry. Again, this will be the first of its kind and our design as we developed it for this project, discuss it with our partner, is fully scalable one and we will validate this concept, we will validate the different characteristics of the electrolyzers, and this is not to be a one-shot thing, this is really to prepare the upscaling of the market and of the industry later on. Of course, and we mentioned that yesterday for, for, for you who've been there yesterday, we had the question regarding the cost reduction and capex reduction. We all know, and I don't disclose uh, figures here, but we all know the figures which are circulating where for electrolysis capex-wise, uh, one of the value mentioned is around 750 uh, euros per kilowatt, and we want to get down to something around 300, 350. Uh, typically, um, and this is a common figure we hear all around the, the presentations and all, on all the, 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 the different papers we see. Currently, these jewels will also be a stepping stone to be able to ignite this, uh, this, this necessary um, step to reduce the capex of the electrolyzers. But so far, this is not the only point on the Jewels project. We will also have the opportunity of this project to validate and to improve the all general performances of the electrolyzer, whether we talk about the energy efficiency or if we talk more generally on the OPEX, because, um, and this is something which has been not maybe that clearly addressed during the two days of presentation. When you look at the total cost of the hydrogen today, what makes most of the cost of the hydrogen clearly is related with the energy efficiency and the OPEX and related with the price of the energy. The capex, the impact of the capex in the total price of the hydrogen is not negligible, but it's not in the order of magnitude as the energy efficiency OPEX and as the price of the electricity. But very clearly in the mind of industrial people, there is a kind of uh, psychological offset which is natural because the capex you need to spend it right away. Where the OPEX, those are things that you will spend much spread over the time and the lifetime of the electrolyzer. So it is clear and that, is, that has been always the rule in the industrial market. All industrial players will be looking for low capex because they don't want to get the money out of their pockets uh, if, if they consider it's too important. And this is part of the game and this is where all the electrolyzer suppliers, we have to play a rule, we have to play the game as well. You might think that considering what I'm telling you, then the, the, the pressure on the capex should not be that much, but in fact, I, it's not true. It is good that we have this pressure and that we are looking to reach the target which we discussed yesterday because in a certain way, being forced by the industry to improve our capex is also forcing us to, globally speaking, improve our industrialization. People are lazy, organizations are lazy, if we are not pushed by external actors to improve, we would never improve, generally speaking. So in a way, this is a very good step also. Of course, 
This will allow to reduce the total cost of hydrogen. And you see that here I have mentioned on the, on the scale, the downscale um, time with the target of 2030, but not only time, also size, because we cannot just say we want to achieve this value in 2030. Uh, it, it's also a mix or, of how quickly the necessary capacities will be ordered on the market to allow the electro electrolyzer suppliers to get organized and to be fully industrial uh, structured to be able to reach these capacities. And you see as well that the curve I plotted here um, is not straight and there are some, some, some breaks in the curves because uh, this will come from the industrial optimization, but it will come also from some technical breakthrough on the electrolysis technology.